guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today I'm gonna be sharing with you what I wish I knew before I started wedding planning and I thought this would be helpful because I just kind of got engaged and didn't really think wedding planning and all of that was that big of a deal but i want to share with you a few little thoughts that i have about wedding planning and all of that in case you are going to be in the process or you're in the process right now and this might be helpful for you so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video Just so you know, at the time that I'm filming this, it is 22 days before the wedding. So we pretty much are wrapping up all the planning at this point, but I am not gonna be posting this video until after the wedding and honeymoon because I just want to focus on finalizing details because there's a lot of little details to finalize right now, mostly about our living situation, about us becoming married and all of those things. So the first one, is make sure when you are in the wedding planning process to allow yourself to have more time for wedding planning than you think you need. The reason why I say this is because when I started wedding planning, I was going to school full time and I was working part time, but kind of full time because I was a manager and I was becoming a manager at that point. I had a lot going on and if it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't have had a lot of time to sit around and plan my wedding. So it's kind of a little bit of a blessing in that way that I got to go home and not be at school and got to focus on planning my wedding. But when I was starting the wedding planning process while I was still at school, I just found that I had no motivation to plan anything because my life was so busy and my mom warned me that I needed time to actually plan a wedding and I didn't really think it was that big of a deal, but it actually is. Because not only are you planning a wedding, but you're planning a honeymoon, you're planning to move in together, and you're planning to, I mean, I don't know if this is everyone, but to make your lives come together. And that is with money, with your last name, if you're changing it, all of those details actually take a lot more than you think that they do. So give yourself time and space to actually do some wedding planning. You probably already know this, so I won't <laughs> elaborate on and on, but Pinterest is live during the wedding planning process. It was so helpful for me, especially when I was really unmotivated at the beginning to have a Pinterest board that I already made that I can lean back on because it just helped me make bigger decisions like what kind of wedding dress I wanted, what were the colors going to be, what kind of venue I was looking for. Those bigger decision things about a wedding were already there on my Pinterest board so it was really helpful to just be like this is the picture I want and it just made the planning a lot easier. So you probably already know this about wedding planning that Pinterest is your best friend, but if you haven't started that board yet, you should start it so that when you get to that time, it is much easier to plan. The next one is get some help with the wedding planning process. And I didn't actually have like a wedding coordinator like some people might hire, but I had my mom and my grandmothers help me out with some wedding planning. And my mom did a really great job keeping me on track because I would easily forget to do some wedding planning things, but she helped me stay focused and that was really helpful. So if you have like a family member or a really good friend that can devote their time to help you with the wedding planning process, that would be very beneficial to you because it really is such a big job and it's really hard to put all on one person and that's why bridezilla is a thing because there's a lot of stress. Don't be afraid to get some help from people that you're close to. Next, make sure you voice your opinion. I've actually heard some brides where their mom kind of bulldozes them and 
their wedding planning process and they didn't really get to do what they wanted to do because their mom or grandma or whatever had a different idea and i think it's really important to voice your opinion when you have one for me sometimes i really don't care and i don't have an opinion so i will tell my mom or grandma that i just don't really care at this point but there are some times where i do have an opinion and i do feel strongly about something and I shouldn't push it to the side because I know that at the end of the day, I'll be upset if I don't get the thing that I was wanting, or at least I didn't try. But make sure you actually tell people what you want and don't be afraid to be honest. Another thing that kind of surprised me was this little tip, consult your man, even if you don't think he'll care about something. And it kind of surprised me how much my future husband, but at the time you'll see this, he is my husband, Alec cared about wedding details, home details, and all of these different things. I did not think that he cared that much. I tried to consult Alec as much as I could, even if I was not sure that he would care, just to see if he had an opinion. And then the last thing, obviously you already know this, but I just wanted to end off this video by saying details don't matter because you get to marry the love of your life and that's all that really matters on the day of. I know right now all you're thinking about is details, flowers, centerpieces, bridesmaid dresses. There's so many things to be thinking about but on the grand scheme of things you're going to be getting married and that is the most important thing. So. Don't stress too much, but that is really all that I wanted to share with you real quickly. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any more questions, please leave them down below because I would love to answer your questions. I plan my wedding in five months, so I don't know what your timeline is, if you have a timeline, but I'd love to answer your questions about anything wedding related because it's so much fun. Weddings are so much fun. So. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do those for you. I will see you next Monday. Bye, guys. Don't paint me thankless. Just have to say this. No, you doubt the way you move.